Just finished a presentation where I was explaining to the attendees that when it comes to career choices, we have to stop thinking in binary terms. It used to be that people had uh, only two career choices. It was either that you chose traditional employment, meaning that employment in its traditional sense, where you work for a corporation or you work for a small or medium business. The second path, which is also generally known, is traditional entrepreneurship. And when I talk about traditional entrepreneurship, I'm talking about entrepreneurship or building or running a business in the traditional areas of wholesale or uh, retail or manufacturing uh, or a services-based business or a ser professional services practice or network marketing. So when people are making career choices, typically they're only aware of these two choices and they don't understand that as we have gone from the industrial revolution into the information age and we in the social digital era that more career options have emerged uh, but because people are not trained to identify those career choices they're still looking in the rear view mirror and making career choices for their future based on what has happened in the past or based on the advice that they're getting from people who made their career choices in the past when maybe only these two options were available well today we have a third option which is also called thought leadership and thought leadership is essentially it means uh, that somebody who has expertise or has a unique perspective has a unique idea or intellectual property and they have been able to monetize that by bringing fresh ideas or systems or methodologies in the marketplace and they're able to monetize that so typically somebody who would be great as a thought leader is someone who has acquired deep expertise either has some research or results or a combination of those two things and has a desire to be able to impact a certain demographic by being able to solve a specific problem based on the, the methodology that they have created. They typically will go and impact the marketplace by building their influence. Uh, they may write, they may broadcast, they may speak, consult, advise, train, mentor. There are many methodologies through which they would then go and impact the marketplace and an exchange for the value that they're bringing based on the knowledge that they have, which is properly structured and unique frameworks and methodologies. They're then able to monetize that by charging appropriate consulting fees or coaching fees or advisory fees or speaking fees, so on and so forth. Uh, some of them also become great researchers and some of them who don't really want to direct and lead uh, become facilitators of conversations. Uh, some of them who are very good at uh, being orators they end up using uh, their auditory skills to broadcast either through mass media like uh, radio or they may end up starting a podcast. So there are many, many ways that the third category can also build a career in an area which they're passionate about. They have skills in uh, hopefully some research and results in as well because nothing speaks better than having personal experience in the area. The fourth career choice also is online businesses. So online business uh, can be that you are getting into e-commerce, uh, you can be getting into uh, a business where you, you have a product or a service and you can uh, simply have a retail outlet which is completely online. So rather than having a shop and a traditional bricks and mortar type of business, you are in the world of business acquiring customers, but you are predominantly or wholly online. And so that's the other model as well. Now, I don't understand why we're just continuing to train generations and generations of people to only pick one of the first two options, either picking traditional employment or traditional entrepreneurship. And to me, this demonstrates a complete lack of creative and independent thinking on behalf of schools, universities, uh, parents, uh, career advisors, who are simply not aware of the fact that the world has unprecedented opportunities like it's never had before. So let's encourage our young people to think outside the square because until they think outside the square, they're not going to go and do anything new out there in the world. All they're going to do is follow existing systems. And let's face it, our entire education system is really built around rewarding people for obedience and compliance. It doesn't reward people for individual expression, independent thinking or creation of new ideas. So we have to start changing the way our education system and the work system is being run. Because as far as we can see right now, here we are in 2021. And some of the problems that plague humanity uh, for centuries are still plaguing humanity today. So those problems are never going to get fixed when we continue to assume 
that as long as people continue to get educated in the traditional education system, to either pick traditional employment or traditional entrepreneurship as career paths, that that is enough education. And I think we need to broaden what education really is and we need to start to encourage people to think outside the square because more than ever we need more leaders, we need more innovators, we need more disruptors, we need more creators and more inventors in the world than we've ever needed before. Uh, otherwise what's going to happen is that the problems that humanity has faced are going to remain perpetual. So I just wanted to literally just express my thoughts about this. This is something I regularly speak about uh, to, uh, at presentations, uh, when I'm invited at seminars. And I wanted to say to the viewers that are watching this, and I wanted to literally stimulate your thinking around the fact that there are more options. And if you have gone with one of the first two options and you're happy and you're inspired, fine. But if you're not, well, maybe it's time for you to consider other options as well. Uh, and even if you are inspired and you've got the perfect career for yourself, well, encourage your children to think about the other options because that's the way we're going to start to expand our thinking and make new, fresher choices which are going to result in better outcomes for our economy and for our social system as well.